It's hello from Ainsley Park. It's Hardsby versus Bonish United. Second against third. Tonight is a battle for second place. So, whoever wins tonight should finish second place. There's still a few games to go. If we manage to win, if we manage to get a result tonight, that would put us back um, on even points with, with Hearts. But we would have two games left and Hearts would only have, we'd only have the one game left. Yeah. So, aye, so, so that's it. Big, in, big incentive for us. Uh, big incentive for us. Um, uh, the, the, the goal for you know, now at the end of the season is to, is to try and finish second outright. That's right. Um, well, it's in our own hands to do it, so we can't ask for any more than that. No. Um, under no illusions how difficult it's going to be tonight. Um, Hearts are obviously full time, fantastic, uh, fantastic club. Yeah. Um, had some fantastic results, scored a lot of goals, which uh, which is which is obviously something that we're we're very very mindful of today. But we can also see that the the there is there is opportunities to score against them. We obviously had a three each draw with them earlier in the mm -hmm. season. So as much as they scored three, we also managed to score three against them. So um, yeah, so what I say is it's it's Friday night. It's going to be under the lights. Um, what I say is it's. It's what you're in the game for. It's, it's a game that's got a bit of, a bit of merit behind it. Um, and like I said, um, not a lot of teams have came here and taken points away. No, no. Um, so, like I said, we've um, we've um, if we go and we we, we 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 show the same desire and work rate and effort and stuff like that, then like I say, I'm, I've, I've absolutely no doubt at the end of the game, hopefully we'll be in the, we'll be in the mix. But these sort of games, you didn't need to or you shouldn't need to g up the guys for this because they know what's at stake today, don't they? Well, that's it. I mean, that, that's it. That's it. But there's, I've always been a believer that if you've got to G people up to go and do their hobby and go and actually put the effort in, then there's something far wrong. Because as much as, um, as much as we all set up the training and 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 we, we set up set pieces and we, we we try and find a way to play and and we try and get the guys. I mean, players are going to bring a wee bit of self. They're going to bring that. They're going to bring in here. They're going to bring that self. They're going to bring that desire uh, to go and to go and play. And what would be really, and I say this to the guys as part of the team talk, would be really disappointed, disappointing, and f not just for me, it's for, for us as a club and for them individually, as if we were to, to play the way we've played for the large proportion of the season, get ourselves into a position where we uh, we, we can go and we, we can challenge to finish in, in second yeah. on our own right, and then let ourselves down. Yeah, we've got three games left. Um, and and, by, and and that doesn't mean coming here and, and, and guaranteeing us going to win points, no. but making sure we're in the battle, making sure we're in the game, making sure we're we're in we're in the question when it's coming to hand out the points at the end of the game. And sometimes we best endeavours. I think I spoke to you the last time. Uh, I think it was against when we were playing Gretna and we just played Celtic. Again, there was nothing wrong with the effort and the desire, but that day we, we just couldn't get close enough to Celtic, and and and, and sometimes that's the way it goes. Yeah. Um, and if that's if that's the situation tonight, then then we'll, we'll lick our wounds and we'll move on. But. What would be really disappointing is if we, if we let ourselves down and and and, um, and and make it easier than it, easier than it should be for, for for any club, but certainly certainly for Hearts because, yeah. like I said, they'll be they'll be sharp, they'll be on it, and we need to make sure we're matching that uh, to have the best opportunity to um, to hopefully take something away for the game tonight. Thanks very much. That's great news. Great seeing you. I've not seen you for ages. I good to bump into you still again. You're still partnering the, is it Anas for the, the, the podcast? Unfortunately not, uh, but we're still supporting Hearts, we're still there every week, every home game, so that's yeah. the thing, and come to support the wee jambos tonight. That's right, yeah. it's a crunch game because the uh, bonus, um, you know, if, if they win, I think you go equal in points, uh -huh. it's a battle for second place basically. Yeah, and it'd be a cracking achievement seeing that uh, they've got new manager Liam Fox in yeah. this season and just main gone from strength to strength. Aye, they've done very well, Aye. eh? Hey, it's good seeing you. And you. Paul Blue and Hearts in the wrong maroon. Oh, there's a chance. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
go here. <laughs> That's the first corner of the game to Bonish and Aid. Oh, the goalie punch it away. Oh, good chance here. Oh. Well done, Dan! Oh, oh, save her, huh? Oh, 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 he's done a the goalie. Oh, he's his ball in near home. Oh, the chance here. Well, I'd say he has corner. Corner, I'm afraid. There's one thrown here. Oh, we fuck. Oh, he turns here. Oh, what a shot! Oh, oh that was close. Side, you have a shot here. 
Side all the Buenos Aires fans and they enjoyed that one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, we got a chance here. Oh, there's a walk. Okay, else. You put that, you put that. <laughs> There's a battle going on here, but it's good. Oh. Team there, you'll be happy with that. Well, pleased that it's one nil, but seriously, it could have been up to four goals ahead. Yeah, we did take a long time in terms of finishing. Yeah. Some of the finishing was rather poor, <laughs> yeah. but we got there in the end. Beautiful free kick, it was a good one. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got a good view for it right in the it was a rocket, wasn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, standing right here, and it was right in right the in corner. There, I know, it was a good one. Beautiful goal. Yeah. Uh, yes, no keeper would have saved that. Right. It was a great goal. And you reckon it should have been about 3 or 4 nil then? Undoubtedly. Aye. Aye, aye. I just hope we keep it up in the second half. That, that, that's it. Uh, you have to stop half playing, because that's a good team. Playing, you can play good football. But you're defending well, you're stopping the crosses getting in. I think that's, that's what's different. Yeah. Well, you've not got Macaulay tape playing, so. <laughs> no, that's true. <laughs> right, just one. And there's a second half tally, they've just missed the kick off. Oh, there's a shot. Oh, chance, there's a goal. That's an early equaliser there for Hearts B. They're not happy about that. Oh, good turn. Oh! Oh, that was close in, is that? Oh, off the line. Oh, oh, there we go. Go. Oh. There's another, another goal. That's an early goal. Two early goals. Bonus to quick attack here. Oh, he's got the ball. The race is on. Oh. 
Oh, the run here. Oh, see if oh. There's a ball. There oh. oh, it goes over. We'll have to check bar in a minute. Touche there, I missed that. Uh, maybe foul on as a wee. Something here. I was looking back at the replay of whether or not it was offside. I was checking VAR, so I missed this. Oh, no, attack here. Oh, I've shot on target, but not off target. Just over. Chance here. Oh. A good ball over. Oh, first touch. Oh, it's a goal. Oh, defensive here. Clear that. I think it must have been off balance. 3 1 to Hearts. Still going to come off there. Very good applause by the Bonus fans. Oh. Oh. 
Gotham. He was going in the sun. Uh, <laughs> Oh, good ball. Oh, good oh, good shit. Oh, good shit. Oh, good Oh, it's true. Oh, good boy. Oh, 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 three, oh, it's a fade down there. Oh, the bunnies guy thinking that was in the box there. There we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
You'll be delighted with that, Liam. I was going to ask you what you said at half time, but you also changed the formation because Bonish United deserved their 1 0 half time lead. Yeah, listen, the, the conditions played a huge part in, in the first half tonight, and we probably caused ourselves a wee bit of our own problems just by probably trying to. And listen, I, I went for passing the ball, and I, I want the team to pass the ball, and I think that's how um, we've had success this year because we've been brave in possession. But we probably just caused us a wee bit naivety. We had a really, really young group out on the pitch tonight, yeah. and listen, you've got to give credit to Bonesh. You can see why they've, they've taken so many points and had so many victories this year. They, um, they've got some good quality, some really good quality in the team, but they're also physical and direct. So they caused us loads of problems. I was always confident if we got in at, um, at half time, we could win the win behind us. We would have to pass the ball a bit quicker, and the, and the dynamics of the game changed. And, and I certainly felt like did that tonight. And you got these two early goals. It's important to get an early goal, and it worked, didn't it? Well, to, to be honest with you, the game, the second half, lasts for nearly you know, another 50 minutes. So. Um, we're delighted that we scored quickly and we scored quickly in the back of that and that gives everybody a, a boost of confidence um, and I think what pleased me even more so was that uh, we had to, to see the last bit of the game out as well because they were throwing things forward. But it was a big game tonight and um, disappointed with the first half performance but pleased with the resilience within that um, but I think the second half we've seen the moments of quality and the speed and the pace and the power we've got the team. Well, I'm a man of cliches. A game of two halves and one nil's never enough and that was certainly the case. I was standing next to a lot of the Bonish United fans. By the way, they brought a good support through. It was good talking to them all. Also, a wee bit of banter with them. They're a great bunch of guys. But I was saying to them, and that was before Brian Stevenson scored that cracking goal. They might rue these chances. Was that not a half to be like? I've seen them umpteen times. And right enough, it was a game of two halves. And one nil wasn't enough. But what was interesting is the talking points. There was a few talking points. Let's go through them. If you're a fan, not having a go at anybody, let's look at the penalty claims. <laughs> now this one, the bonus fans thought it was inside the box. It was just fouled just outside the box. It was a correct decision by the ref. Now this one, I'm sitting on the fence. I think there was enough contact there. Could have been a penalty. So I can understand why the Bonish United fans were aggrieved. In the case, Bonish United fans thought everything went against them. I want to show you this. Bonish United's goal. I think it was offside. What do you think? Now this is interesting. I'm showing you this because this is offside. And it wasn't given. Um, there's a still there and I'll play it again. He was offside and it was a crucial because the Bonus United went on to uh, score the goal. And I'm only showing it, you know, only because Bonus United fans thought everything went against them. Well, I thought that went in their favour. I'll just keep on playing it because it went on to score the goal. The goal itself wasn't offside. Good goal, but it was offside. There you go, folks. Just a bit of fun. Not having a, a, a go at anybody. Not having a go at Bonus United fans or the, the officials. In real time, it's really difficult. I had a perfect view of these three or four incidents that I was talking about there and I was able to slow it down and be able to look at it again umpteen times. You can't do that of course in real time. The officials have to make decisions and fans will go away feeling aggrieved. Sometimes they're right but I think officials get the decisions right 90 odd percent of the time. Anyway, a big thank you to everyone I spoke to. Great value for money it is to get into, is it £2 or something? I can't remember. I play a wee bit card and get a programme, a pound for a programme. £2 to get in. Fantastic value for money. That was the last game of the season at home for Hearts B. Hopefully they'll be at Ainsley Park next season and they'll keep the prices low. Well, as I always say, folks, if you like what I do, please subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. Please like and share. Comments are welcome, as long as they're sensible. Till the next time, I'll see you behind the rolls.